This week on Campus Update, the updated tsunami map, disaster preparedness, sports update, volleyball champions, City Hall discusses the legality of fireworks, what will you do after you graduate, ye old nerd word, and the brand new Van Skating Park. Hello Oilers, I'm Addison Love and welcome to Campus Update. In light of recent seismic activity, we thought it appropriate to get some information on preparing for emergency. So here's Coco with some details on tsunami safety. Harbor officials created a new map to help residents evacuate in case their tsunami hits our coast. The new tsunami map shows the affected areas and an evacuation route to direct the community to safety. To put this into perspective, our school's right here. Addison has some more information on disaster preparedness for you. It's important that we're ready for natural disasters. We never know when the next earthquake, wildfire, tsunami, or landslide, or other catastrophe might strike. But Ready OC can help. On their website, they provide plenty of helpful information on being ready in the event of an emergency, including planning templates, guidelines for emergency kits, and additional resources for seniors and those with disabilities to make plans for survival if a disaster should occur. We owe it to ourselves to be prepared, Oilers, so visit readyoc.org and register at alertoc.org today to get informed. And now we take it over to Dion for this week's sports update. What's up, Oilers? I'm Dion Liptrap. And I'm Drake Evans. And this is this week's sports update. What's it like winning a championship? And also, what's it like being the best high school volleyball team in the nation? Uh, winning the championship was pretty steez. Uh, it's not really any other feeling like it. And uh, being number one in the nation is just, you know, people know who we are. The first part about winning the championship was probably watching all the boys kill it out there, leaving no hope for the uh, opposing team. And also looking forward to an awesome season. It's going to be a great year. Every high school is going to know who we are, you know. I'll be walking at a tournament or something, be like, oh, you played for Huntington? Yeah. Prediction for next year, just continue on the legacy. We plan to go undefeated in the league this year. We'd like to continue that on next year. Also maintain the uh, CIF and state finals that we won last year, this year, and next year. We're looking forward to it. Congrats to the boys volleyball. That's all for this week. See you guys next time. Summer's right around the corner, which means preparing for celebrations on the 4th of July. And Devin has some info on what is and isn't allowed for your parties this year. Last year on the 4th of July, Huntington Beach Police were overworked, protecting residential streets from the illegal release of industrial-scaled fireworks that were shot off at people, trees, cars, and homes. This footage was captured on 20th Street, hours after multiple stops by the police. This coming 4th of July will be different, as new legislation now prohibits any fireworks being set off in Huntington Beach without a permit. The city is currently planning the annual Main Street Parade, yet without the revenue from the sale of fireworks, parade costs could rise in the next couple of years. Luckily, there will still be a professional fireworks show on the pier. The city aims to still provide a celebration while decreasing the burden put on locals with unsafe firework use and the mess left over. Speaking of celebrating, our seniors graduate soon, and we thought it'd be appropriate to ask what you're doing after high school. There are 54 days until graduation. What are you most excited for? I'm looking forward to going to India. I'll be dancing with a professional company in Utah. You know, I'm really looking forward to like meeting some like great, diverse people in college and stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm going on a senior trip to Hawaii. Stoked. I hope to get into OCC and get tan. As the countdown continues, we turn back our clocks for a very special edition of Nerd Word. James? The original Renaissance Pleasure Fair is upon us, Oilers, and it's an amazing way to spend the weekend. The original Renaissance Pleasure Fair is the first Renaissance Fair in the United States, opening its doors in 1962. Originally based in Agora Hills, it now takes place at the Santa Fe Dam Recreational Area, coming from April to about halfway through May. There's amazing food, from turkey legs and fruit ices, to sin on a stick, a slice of cheesecake dipped in chocolate on a stick. There's music, magic, jousting, and dancing to see. I highly recommend that everybody attend, though the easily offended should be wary. See you at the fair, Oilers. Thanks, James. And if costumes aren't your thing, there's always the new Van Skate Park to provide a fun time for all the skaters out there. Our city is home to a number of varied cultures that display our unique and complex stature. To maintain this uniqueness, our city has made a great effort to improve upon our skate culture by opening the Vans Off the Wall Skate Park. Opened just last month, this new park contains over 40,000 square feet of state-of-the-art ramps, rails, pools, as well as various BMX and skate shops. 
Drawing acclaim from skaters of all levels for its state-of-the-art facilities, it has since attracted hundreds of pros and amateurs from all over the nation. In the end, this new skate park serves as a testament to our city's mass appeal and loyalty to its different cultures. Located on 7471 Center Avenue and open daily from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. And that's all the time we have for today, Oilers. I'm Addison Love, and it's time to say goodbye. But first, let me take a selfie.